everybody, this is Tanya and welcome back to the channel. Today I am back building again in The Sims 4. I know shocking information here, but I am building a modern student, student housing situation. Basically, I wanted to build a modern house that was split up into dorm rooms in the world of Brightchester on the Foxbury campus side of the world. So that's what we're doing here today. So I'm working on the shell on the outside here, trying to come up with something that looks all right. I wanted it to have that like boxy modern look to it and be fairly neutral, but like lots of blacks and whites and stark contrast to go with the look this part of the world has. Plus having lots of red accents because Foxberry's color is red. Uh, so you'll see that come together here. I'm playing around with some other colors at first though because I was trying to stay away from like red even though I, I felt like it was kind of inevitable that I was going to end up with a red built here. Uh, it, it does end up having a lot of red on the inside, not as much on the outside. The outside is mostly black, white, and like wood colors. Uh, but I decided to have a little bit of a parking area out here. There are a couple of debug cars. I also ended up putting a bunch of bikes outside as well. I wanted it to look like there were transportation options for the students that were living here. And I was imagining that there were four students living here. There are three different bedrooms. One of them is shared and has bunk beds, but the other ones are single rooms. I'll have more on that when we get to the inside of the build a little bit later. But right now I am working on the exterior and it ends up having this sunken outdoor space over on the left side that I end up using sectional sofas as well as a ping pong table or maybe it's for juice pong. I thought that that would be a fun activity for your sims to have in this space and I really like this particular area. I built this over on Twitch first and this was a suggestion from some of the chats to do like a sunken outdoor space and I just loved it so much. I was so happy with how this came out. Uh, speaking of which, I do stream over on Twitch like four times a week and it's a lot of fun uh, to build with you guys. So if you'd like to check it out, it's twitch.tv slash Griffey and that is always linked in the description down below as well. But here I am placing those bikes that I had mentioned and I think we're going to be getting a door over here. I <laughs> quickly changed my mind from having the small sliding glass door that I have as the front door and decided to use one from Eco Lifestyle instead. It's much bigger and more modern. I wasn't sure at first because I wasn't sure if it was too big for that space, but I think it worked out. And then I also layered some of these mailboxes from Snowy Escape. Those are my favorite mailboxes in the game. I just think they're so realistic to have them hanging on the wall like that. And I put four of them there because I imagine four students were living here and it just made sense that they would all have their own mailboxes for their personal mail, kind of like a dorm might if there was like a mail room. Uh, but this is going to be the layout upstairs. I was a little unsure on one side how I wanted to lay it out, but there are three bedrooms and then the smallest room upstairs is a bathroom. And then there is one bathroom downstairs as well. So it's three bedrooms, two bathrooms, but uh, there's four beds. <laughs> And then there's a really spacious living area, which we are getting started on now. I, of course, am using a ton of new items from Dream Home Decorator. I think I've almost gotten it out of my system, like the excessive use of it. I'm probably going to be using tons of this pack in the future, though, because it's just so nice and it's going to fit in really well with everything we already have. And kind of like every pack, it just slowly becomes part of your everyday go-to items, but... Using like every item in the pack like I've, I've been doing, I think I've pretty much gotten it out of my system, but this build is definitely one of those. Uh, you'll see I'm using the new counters, the new table. Those chairs are not new, but they match perfectly. Those are from Tiny Living. I was really excited about that because they were the right wood tone, uh, but the seats were red, so loved that. I was a little disappointed in this kitchen though because in student housing in The Sims, you're not allowed to have stoves or ovens. And I distinctly remember <laughs> Sim Guru Ninja uh, mentioning that even though that's the case, that the new like stovetop or like countertop, not the stovetops, but the countertop ovens, like the microwave ovens that we got with this pack, you'd still be able to use in student housing. And I wasn't able to, it said I couldn't have that. So I was really sad about that. So we ended up just having a microwave, a fridge, a coffee pot and a sink, and then a sectional couch as well because I, there's just a bunch of those in this build and they're gonna be in like every build from now until forever because they're beautiful. But 
I thought that that worked nicely in this space so you could have a lot of sims sitting here and I also really liked this round coffee table from Eco Lifestyle in here as well. I painted some of the walls blue. I, I just had a lot of fun with playing around with color in here and I love the layout I came up with in this space particularly with the island in the kitchen with those counter pieces because that's not actually an island counter that's a regular counter but I thought it looked nicer using a regular counter as an island <laughs> because I wasn't going to put chairs at it anyway. I liked the idea better of just putting the table against the edge of it. So I thought it worked pretty well. And then what else am I adding down here? Just some more plants, I think. And I obviously put some clutter under the TV. There's also a gaming console over there. So your Sims could go ahead and play and then making sure to get some upper cabinets in the kitchen space as well. <laughs> and I put like the open box of cereal. I thought that was pretty realistic for a, uh, for a dorm room space. That uh, item is from Outdoor Retreat and so are the pots and pans that I put up on top of the fridge. This space in general is pretty clean and put together and modern and updated and probably a very expensive place to stay. But that's the kind of idea I was going for, the vibe I was going for. I feel like I've done some messy dorm rooms and student housing before, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's been a while. But I also really want to do some messy houses sometime soon because obviously we just got Dream Home Decorator and it's all about like making these spaces beautiful uh, and that's a lot of fun. But I also really like making messy, destroyed, <laughs> like abandoned, ripped down, torn to shreds, falling apart builds. And those are just fun to make. Very big contrast from what this pack was. But also, I feel like they could be a lot of fun to renovate with this pack. Those before and afters will be so drastic. So, I don't know. I might do some torn down builds sometime soon. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that. And if so, if there's anything in particular you'd like to see in that realm. Because, I don't know, it just sounds really fun right now. <laughs> Maybe it's because I've done too many perfect put together builds recently, but... Anyway, just getting some magazines in here and also put some boxes over in that modular shelving. Also getting a side table over by this door. And I thought that that like, it kind of looks like Jack's, I guess, <laughs> um, piece in the middle of the coffee table was so perfect because it's red and it just feels like a weird piece of clutter that would be in this space. I really enjoyed that. And then downstairs, there is a bathroom. I made sure both bathrooms in this house had a shower, even though, I mean, it, it it makes more sense to just have like a shower or a bath upstairs, not necessarily on the main floor, but I wanted to make sure there were multiple places for your Sims to go ahead and shower in the morning since there are four Sims living here and maybe people staying over and all of that kind of stuff, like having company over. So I just thought it was important to have more bathrooms. And I also really loved that rug in there. That's a base game rug, I'm pretty sure, in bright red. And I don't use red as an accent color very often, so it was really refreshing to use that in this build. Uh, that's probably why I picked Foxberry. Also, I think I relate a little bit more to Foxberry. I think in this pack, the school that is more of an artsy school is Brightchester, but Foxberry is more modern and I went to a more modern art school. So I, I guess I associate with that one more, like the outside of the building looked interesting and way more like Foxberry than it did like Brightchester. So Maybe that's why I tend to be drawn towards this one, even though my acceptance letter that is on the wall is for Brightchester. Oopsies. <laughs> anyway, I added a soccer ball in here in a rainbow color, beautiful pride, uh, pride ball. <laughs> that's what we're calling it during a stream, the pride ball. Happy pride month, you guys. I also have a pride flag in this room as well. There, I think there's a couple of them in this build. Uh, there's a mirror over by the door so you can check yourself out before you head out. And then we're upstairs into the dorm rooms. And that room that we just put together, I realized I never really explained it because we have the living space, the kitchen and the dining all in one. Uh, but then that room that we just finished decorating downstairs is more of a like study space slash secondary hangout space that has like the big TV I was imagining was a projector and there's computers for you guys to work together and all of that. But this is the first bedroom I am decorating. And it is the one that has the bunk beds. I really liked how nicely the swatches matched because I'm using the new bunk bed on the top, the loft bed from the Dream Home Decorator game pack. And then the bottom bunk is actually just a single bed from University in the Foxberry colors. And I was just really excited about that because 
bunk bed screen university to me, even though I never had a dorm room. And I've never had a bunk bed in my life. So I don't know why. Anyway, I decided to have two desks in here for the roommates and hanging up some stuff on the walls. I have like a video gaming club flag. There's also the pansexual pride flag over there. Uh, and then we have like a cork board and I think a calendar as well. I just wanted to get some different interests and personality aspects up here. And actually for the gamer, I end up adding a TV and a couple of consoles on their desk as well. Plus a couple of uh, gaming controllers, a remote control, all the things they would need for their gaming time. But you know, I had fun with this. I also used this computer, which is kind of weird. It has all the wires hanging out of it and stuff. It was the closest I felt like I could put down to a gaming PC that everyone should have access to because I have a computer in my game that I used to always place down, not thinking of it. And then I would get people being like, hey, I don't have that. Could you not use that? Or where did you get that? <laughs> or what have you? And I've just conditioned myself not to use it. Uh, so I did place it down. I edited it out of this and um, talked about it during stream. But there's a computer I have in my game that looks like a gaming PC. There's like a glass panel. You can see all the components inside and like the cooling system. It's like a Prima, Prima 3000, I think is what it's called. And it's a computer you got with your game if you bought the Prima guide for The Sims 4, which I did in like 2014. Uh, so I have that in my game and I always have, and I always forget that that's why I have it. And I just go to reach for it because I like it. And, um, that would work really nice in that room, but I purposefully didn't use it because I forget that it's not an item in the game. Um, let me know if anyone else has that. I'm very curious. I just bought the Prima guide back in the day because I thought it was really cool and I, I'm obsessed with The Sims and I thought it would be cool to have like a hardcover copy about The Sims 4, or, like right when it came out. So curious if anyone else has it but this is going to be an artsy student room I think this one came out pretty cute it's got like some pastel yellow colors in it it's using my favorite desk from the new pack and uh, it's, it's pretty simple actually my favorite room that I did in this build is this last one here which is surprising because it's very opposite of my own interests. this one's like a sporty room I imagine that the sim here is probably on the school like soccer team or maybe they're into a bunch of different sports I put all sorts of sports stuff in here. Like we got basketballs, we got volleyballs, we got soccer balls, we got Bob pancakes. Like you got, we're covering everything here. And <laughs> we even have like the, what is that called? A megaphone. So you can like cheer on all of the sports teams and get some storage in here as well. I just really liked how this room came out. I thought it had a lot of personality. And of course I got to use another bright Chester bedspread, which I think adds more personality. I don't know. I just really liked this room. I hope you liked it too. I hope you liked this build. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. That really does help me out. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.